I was browsing through Silverstone auction lots the other day, just dreaming, and I came across this Airstream, which is absolute work of art. And I thought, I've got to see if I can film that for the channel. So I called the guys up there and said, any chance I can make a video for Motorholic? And they said, absolutely, come on up. Really friendly guys invited me along to come and do a full tour of this. Now, this is one of the very last of the proper aluminium Airstreams. So this one, I think, is a 1992. And then shortly after this, they changed over to making them out of GRP. But the, of course, the classic with Airstream was always the unpainted aluminium well, fuselage, they called it actually, rather than body, because it's very much got that sort of aircraft theme to it. This one's got a 7.4 litre V8 petrol engine in it. It's a proper piece of Americana and it's fantastic. So I'm going to take you on board of this one. We're going to have a look around. It's a 350. I think that refers to the length. I think it's 35 foot long. It certainly feels like it. It's a big beast. Apparently very easy to drive though. It's all power steering and power brakes and power everything. So it's pretty good. And we actually bought it here. So if we open this door, you'll see that these steps power out into place. And here we go, straight away, the finish of areas like this. It's stunning. Let's go and have a look inside. Now this is very much of its era, but actually it's also had a pretty thorough restoration. So a lot of this in here is new, but it's kept original looking. So, um, as you can see, this is how you'd expect it to look back in the day. It's just that it is in really fantastic condition. Let's go right to the front, first of all. That, I believe, is where the engine lives, in down between the seats. And then this is very period. Look at these beautiful switch gear they've got on here. And the gear selector across here. You can see the big arm for it there to going into park and drive and neutral and so on. Everything. It's proper of its era. Generator control is down there. It's got a generator on this one. Just fantastic. And then across here as well. Very, very nice <laughs> ashtrays. You don't see ashtrays anymore, do you? There we go. I'll just tap my marble out. We've got sliding windows up here as well. There's no doors here. You can come in where we came in and just walk up to the front. I love these chairs. They've done a great job of these. And you've got the armrests as well. So it's sort of proper captain chair kind of stuff. Okay, let's spin on around, take a look down this vehicle right from the front. So this is your lounge area effectively. And these got little seat belts on, which is a nice idea. So if you've got more than two of you, people can still ride in here and be belted in. This is nice. It's a little card table in here with the green bays on it. How lovely is that? And then you've got storage there for drinks or whatever else you want to put in there. And there's overhead sections like this as well. It's been modernised to some extent, so you've got things like this games console in here. I think that's a games console. And there's a flat screen TV, but of course there's all stuff you could take out if you wanted to keep it completely period. Um, but it makes it a lot more functional if you actually want to use it as a motorhome as well as a rolling piece of art. So that's rather nice. I like this little, it's like an American diner, isn't it? With these two seats facing these two seats around this table. That's lovely. And this is the original uh, manual for it, the owner handbook. So you can see that's what came with it originally. You've got these sliding windows as well and these lovely little lights like this around the place. Back here then is the galley area. You've got this big double sink. Again, storage about the place like this. And underneath it, here, and here. Gas hob on this one, four burner, and then there's the microwave as well. A Quasar Superwave. <laughs> Fantastic. And the fridge is opposite. So that's over on this side, like so. And the freezer up above. Very nice. So if we head back a bit further again, what we have on this side is the toilet. And I love all these brass fittings. Again, it's very much of the period. It looks really, really good in this switch gear as well. It's proper sort of 90s Americana. Fantastic vacuum flush loo. And there's, of course, a door for this. So that just hinges across for a bit of privacy. Look at these lights in here as well. Oh, it's all so nice. 
On the other side then you have got big wardrobe like so. I like the way he's done this with this sort of roost effect so when you hang things up when you drive up a hill it will slide to the back that's neat and the little illumination in here as well. Brilliant. And behind that is the shower. Curtains off here and again that lovely brass work around the place. It's so of its era it's fantastic. And then right back at the back you've got the bed. Of the bedroom, I suppose you could say. And, uh, and what I like is the fact you've got this sort of almost like a bay window around here, so you could park somewhere sort of on a nice cliff top somewhere, and then in the morning when the sun comes up, you'd have this amazing view straight out of the bed. Let's come right round and down the side. I think I mentioned we're at Silverstone Auctions. You can see some of the cars. Just amazing. I did take a quick film of those while so I was here. It would have been rude not to. So that will be on Motorola. If it's not already, it'll be coming soon. Isn't that nice? And again, little modern touches like the flat screen TVs. But again, they're so well integrated, they don't spoil the period feel of the vehicle. I think that's amazing. I really do. Let's go and have another look out here. This was well worth the three hour drive this morning to come and see this. This is motorhome history. Look at that. It's fantastic, isn't it? Let's head back out. I'll give you a quick glance at these vehicles while we're here as well. Put my shoes back on. Here we go. This is Silverstone Auction. Look at that. As I say, I did do a quick walk around. I just couldn't not. It would have been rude. OK, let's close this one back up. Watch those power away. Awesome. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Let's walk up here and I think we'll finish off at the back. Here's the 350 LE badges on the back. And there it is, a proper Airstream on Motorholic. So pleased to have got that and huge thanks to Silverstone Auctions for setting that up for me. I really appreciate it. And if I get this video up in time, you might even get a bid on it and buy it if you want it. We'll uh, catch you on another video on Motorholic very soon. Take care. Bye bye.